so it's closed. I don't think this is the bridge, but it kind of looks brand new. The tree fell. Just gonna walk over it. Oh, we could have totally forded that. We had to. <laughs> the bridge still works. Yeah. This might be the coolest little shelter setup I've ever seen. You have non-snoring, snoring, and then you have a little spot over here just for hammocks. Then in the middle, so cute. <laughs> it's like a little pavilion and they even have a little flower. Oh, that's adorable. it's for cooking this is so cute <gasps> and they have a place to hang your clothes wow this stretch of trail takes us from the deer lick shelters up to quarry gap shelter which is the best shelter on the at then from there to the halfway point of the at pine grove furnace where i did the half gallon challenge and then from there to boiling springs then from boiling springs all the way up to carlisle just came and drove from Nashville, Tennessee. And he let us, let me, gave us all trail magic yesterday, and, or two days ago. Hi, Hello. how are you? Okay. The Poconos, Northeast Pennsylvania. Okay, okay. Everybody okay. Everybody does. I'm at this shelter, I think it's called Quarry Gap, and I feel like I'm in a little secret garden. You can just walk around, and there's like rhododendron tunnels. You can walk under, and there's just little private areas. Like, what is this? It's like a campsite. There's a beautiful spring, there's like flowers planted everywhere. Like, it's amazing. This little forest is so beautiful. I feel like I'm in the Pacific Northwest. So amazing. At the 2008 halfway point, not exactly to the 2021 yet, but we're coming up to it. Mountain campsite. This is a big day because we just hit the halfway point. <laughs> I honestly like, never pictured being here but look at this oh halfway point to Maine and honestly like I didn't even know the trail went through Pennsylvania <laughs> I mean through uh, Maryland I knew it went through Pennsylvania but I didn't know it went through Maryland and I never pictured myself in Pennsylvania I never pictured myself being here I made it so much farther than I ever could have dreamed um it's been incredible it's been hard. I think that hopefully the second half will be a little bit easier. 
<laughs> but this is a big day, a big day to celebrate. Nice. Nice. Yeah. yeah. So I finally got to a flat spot. It's not covered in rocks. And I thought the bugs weren't that bad, but they're back. I literally won't stop. I have this like, oh my gosh, seriously, they're like swarming me. I have this like handkerchief that I just bat them off. Um, bug spray just sweats right off. It is hot, it is humid, it's kind of raining. I'm walking over rocks, Pennsylvania, Rocksylvania. But today, it's a big day. Because not only did we pass the halfway point, I almost swallowed a bug. It's almost time to do the half gallon ice cream challenge. And I've been trying to figure out all day which ice cream I'm gonna pick. I'm still not sure. All right, made it to the general store. So I'm headed to the hostel, which I heard is self-serve. I'm not really sure how that works. And I'd like to go to the museum because Odie, who does the hiker yearbook, I think is doing tours today. So that would be cool um, to see him and then going to the general store to eat some ice cream. And he would be um, truly the first, however Earl Shaper is very much recognized as the first. Also super heavy gear, military style um, leather boots and that light there in the middle, you would put a stone in there called carbonite and then mix it with water and then it would glow really bright. So um, it's like a gas. So we literally carried rocks as a headlamp. Um, it's the most through heights of any person. I think it's 19 and he intends on doing it again, so it'll be 20. Yeah, yeah. Um, Baltimore Jack did die of alcoholism and that's like a really big problem in the community. So drugs, alcohol, suicide, that's something that we need to recognize because there's only so many long distance hikers and have so much loss in these three areas needs to be looked at. But he lived a great life and was a wonderful. So we're just leaving um, the Appalachian Trail Museum and Odie gave us a really cool tour, which was awesome. So thank you, Odie, you're amazing. Your tour was very inspiring. Reminded us while we're out here and that was, it was really fun. So this is the hostel in Pine Grove and it's called The Mansion. This is where I'm staying tonight. Yeah. Well, I got to curate my thermal rest of the pot. More ketchup in a bit. Let's see. I'm so glad I took a whole roll of black pickles. Yeah. Why would I eat like a ton of food before doing this? My stomach already hurt. Joy, are you recording this? Absolutely. I won't watch one of you guys throw up. I get recorded. Absolutely. Like three hours later. This is like blackmail, I think. <laughs> yeah. I'm actually kind of banking on you not being able to finish and being able to eat some of your ice cream anyways. What? <laughs> Do you want some? Pretty fast. Well, yeah. I'll probably. I'll just say 15 and seven, even seven minutes. Yeah. That's, That's very ambitious opening up the second oh, one. I think it's a variety. Like, you're sweating and you're taking off. They're wearing all their clothes and they're like. Literally, like, oh, like, 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 bummer! And I that like, second I choice. Is it that? He said it was like it's me every time. I did not know that flavor. I'm gonna be honest. That was once I was dead. I was nasty. Dying. Literally, I can't even now. No one's carrying cannons up up in the mouth. Ten minutes in. Eleven minutes in. Ten fifty-two. I know I didn't. Hey, fast of luck. I have to go sit up there. It tastes grosser, melted. I'm sorry you're regretting yeah. it, but thank it's you really for being me to do it, because this is awesome. I wasn't going to do it unless I did it with someone else. So I'm glad we're here together. Uh, I really I know. It hurts when you drink water. <laughs> I did it. It's up. <laughs> I thought you were going to blow chunks right there. <laughs> Look how much I've eaten. But dude, if you like eat water, nothing. put it in your mouth, pour it up, and spit it out. I haven't eaten half of it yet. <laughs> Literally, my stomach already. <laughs> you gonna like record me like vomiting? <laughs> Blackmail. <laughs> Do you want some ice cream? Yeah. Eleven minutes. Thirteen and a half. <laughs> Do you want some ice cream? I put out. It's not a yeah, we did. We took, we took like two zeros. 
I think after this everything, it puts us behind. It can't happen. Yeah. Not oh, so closed? well. I'm not going for it. Like close, You're doing it. Where is everybody yeah. else? You, you still have <laughs> 47, 46 minutes closed, left. To finish? To finish. I can do this. He definitely is. What? You're almost done. I'm almost done. I'm also about to throw up, so. Really? Well, okay. no, not yet, but like, I can feel it coming. And he's got to do some banana pudding I can tell this. at this moment, I'm going to throw up at some point. No. Was, okay. Okay. You have to convince for a good minute. Now, I'm not entirely sure that's not your RV. <laughs> Is that? Are you done with this? It just yeah. pushes everything down by gravity. You want me to be a cup party guy? It's just me now. Are you going to update your vlog? Look at this, look at this. <laughs> I think he's winning, but if you throw up, it doesn't count. Really I'm just okay. ordered. Do you submit? No. I'm going in. I don't grant you mercy. Just go until you throw up then. <laughs> and then go some more. Just just some okay, your own throw up or your friend's throw up? What should you rather have in your shoe? Could you just... I think I'm calling it. Wow. I think I'm done. Yes. Good move. Are you sure? Yeah, do you want some ice cream? Tapping out? Yeah. And that's it. Tap. Ding, ding, ding! Woo! Way to go, guys. It's My like, ego is so huge you, right now. Aww. Don't squeeze. Careful, careful. Don't okay. squeeze. There's no don't squeeze. squeeze. I'll throw one of you. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm thinking about them. My legs are going to start. Are you going to try to finish this? No. Why not? <laughs> You're like doing a lot better than me already. No, I'm, not. I'm just having a couple of bites of ice cream. <laughs> We've got a uh, mouse situation. Then you need to leave him alone and maybe he'll come in the room like he did before, but Square Not needs to not yell at him. But he's cute. I'll he's say, uh, when you drive him. No, he's not gonna leave if you're there. Can you stomp and scare him in this room? No, it's, no he's gonna stay in there. Leave, leave the vent alone. Come back over here. I am over. He must be in the couch, maybe. I think he'd be under the other couch, right? Yeah, I think I saw him run. What about these guitars? No, I don't think he's got there. Where the fuck did he go? What the hell? Alright, he is definitely inside this other couch because it's a pull out couch. He's probably just gonna run from inside one couch to inside the other couch. I mean, it could be inside any part of that. It's probably um, a good little home if you think about it. 
Oh my yeah, goodness. Goodness. If I was a mouse, I would want to live in the couch. Yeah, maybe that's why we're just been trying to get you. Agreed. Well, there's a bunch of crumbs in. I tried to find money in the test bed. She was there for the dollar. One. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yo, she had me in. I told her. That's hilarious. Wash the dishes. So last night we stayed at this amazing place called the Iron Masters Mansion, I believe. Um, but it's really beautiful, an over 200 year old house here in Pine Grove. Um, I'll show you a little tour of it. So this is the front porch. There's donuts. What up girl? Hey. <laughs> beautiful, huge front porch. Check out this massive fireplace. It's so cool. And then this is the kitchen, laundry. It's like communal food, which is amazing. Like a big common area. And then hangout room, another hangout room, loner clothes. It's like, it's easy to get lost in here. A little room. This is a bathroom. Um, there's like shampoo and everything that you need. This house is just so beautiful. That's another bathroom. This is like the front foyer. Um, this beautiful staircase that goes upstairs. And then this is <clears throat> a dorm that I slept in. There's what I slept in over there. So yeah, this place is awesome. I loved being here. Um, last night we had so much fun. We played this game called Werewolf, which is kind of like Mafia and just had a blast. Um, and then there was like a mouse that somehow got in when the door was open. So we were chasing that around for what felt like hours, but we just laughed and had so much fun. And I did the ice cream challenge and I failed. I did it with my friend Guy and he crushed it in like 15 minutes. And I was like, I can't, literally can't do this. So gave up but it was cool going to that general store and getting some delicious food last night and this morning getting packed up today gonna hit the road and hit the trail hope to make it to boiling springs maybe by tomorrow it's about 20 miles i don't think i'm gonna be able to get that in today it's almost 11 and it's gonna be hot and possibly thunderstorms this afternoon so I'm gonna start hiking getting back on trail it felt really good yesterday to do a 17 mile day and then get here I think it was either four or even a little bit before that and that was just an incredible feeling so i feel like i'm getting my trail legs back after taking some time off doing the rafting trip and feeling really great so catch on the flip side oh they just have like female transformers on stage no uh they have two books These signs are everywhere and every time I see it, I can't believe that we're hiking from Georgia to Maine. Hey there, it is a hot day in PA 
and just talking to my phone. And we just got all these notifications that severe weather's coming. So we're about a mile away from the Green Mountain General Store. So we're gonna stop there. Apparently hail's coming and 40 mile per hour winds, which is crazy because the weather looks beautiful, blue sky, just like 20 minutes ago and now you can feel the winds are changing. But it's the way the trail, you just gotta, whatever it brings you, you just gotta go with it. This is what it's bringing us right now. figured we'd stop here, grab something to eat real quick, and uh, possibly let the storm blow over. Right. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So we had like a two tenths of a mile walk, but it looked like it was about to rain. We literally got a ride right before the rain came, so. Got here, gonna wait out the storm, get some yummy food, and all is well. twist I'm in Boiling Springs and we went to Green's Green Mountain Grocery which was amazing it got some really good food and then um, long story short <laughs> I'm having some kind of I don't know I guess medical things again it's um, I have some ovarian cysts and sometimes they pop up and they get super painful and I was trying to hike and also um, the weather that's coming in, I just was like, I don't want to deal with both of those things at once. So I ended up getting a hostel, coming over to Boiling Springs, and I'm going to stay here in this super cool camper for the night. Actually, in a private room. It's going to be really amazing. I don't know if I've had that on trail, maybe one other time. So it'll be super great to stay here and see nice and cozy. There's a rooster growing. It's it's not even five o'clock. It's like four or something. The rooster's growing. <laughs> so this is the little camper that I stayed in last night. There's the room I was in. It's kind of a disaster with my stuff because I'm packing up. Super cute. Got pizza. Um, I guess it has a second bedroom. Someone else stayed in here. And then this is the bathroom. So that's it. So I'm here now in Boiling Springs and it feels like the trail is just crossing like a little town or something every day, which is awesome because you don't have to carry very much food. Um, the weather is crappy. It's just like every day there's predicted storms randomly. So that's not fun, but I think I'm gonna go eat some breakfast, maybe at the cafe and then start hiking. And there's like a 14 mile stretch with no camping and 
no water. So kind of want to just knock that out and get it done and then get to Duncannon at some point soon. So that is basically the reality of hiking. Lately, no water for miles. So we're gonna have to do a decently big bigger carry, not too bad, but for 13 miles. No water. So what nowhere else can you, in the Appalachian Trail, can you leave your bag? Best, one of the best things about the trail is like the humanity of it. Is like nowhere else in my world where I live could I leave thousands of dollars worth of gear over here while we all go explore this town. That's and valid. not have to worry about it being rummaged through or taken or anything because we all know if that bag's gone, there's our hike. But like, we don't even think that. So it's just like the beauty of that is what I love uh, about this trail, so yeah. Perfect. Also, I was, I really just meant more so for you. Oh, oh yeah, that's a good idea. And you'd be like, hey, look at this is in the you know. So we're at the quote unquote boiling spring, which apparently is like 50 something degrees. Not actually boiling, but it does look like it is. So that's kind of cool. So I got this new bug net because the bugs are literally dive bombing my eyeballs. It's hard to walk without swallowing like 10 bugs. So I'm gonna be looking styling and profiling on the trail now. Back on trail. So we left all of our stuff at the ATC building and walked around and ate some really good food. Crabman was talking about how different that is from where he lives in New York City can't really leave your stuff um, and trust in the goodness of people that they won't steal it. But you can here in Boiling Springs, Pennsylvania. The trail literally just does a little road walk on this highway crossing now. And getting back into the woods, it looks like it might rain later and it's like a 14 it's like 13 something before water so you gotta carry a lot of water and then it's a 15 mile hike until the first shelter so there's not really a bailout point i guess carlisle kind of is um but just gonna walk until get to that shelter um most likely unless it storms and then i might bail out in eight miles at carlisle got that cool bug net so i'm uh Gonna be prepared for all these crazy gnats. I was like, if one thing gets me off trail, it might be the gnats. Cause it's just like, I mean, the heat is actually, the heat's unbearable. Um, but then when you have a heat going uphill, out of breath, trying to like get as much air as possible. And then you got gnats flying in your face. It's, <laughs> it's not fun. So hopefully that bug net will help out. Um, and then I have friends just up ahead in Dunk Cannon which is like 26 miles away. So I'm hoping to get there like tomorrow, somewhat early and see them. So anyway, should be a good day for a good day. So I'm on the edge of a cornfield and some really pretty like foothills back there, but this is crazy. 
a feeling we're going to be going through a cornfield. It's going to feel like children of the corn. Oh, my Lanta. Here we go. We are. I'm just kidding. I'm not walking through the cornfield yet. I don't know if that's going to happen, but it's so crazy. Corn stalks are like super high. This is like way taller than me. Super cool. This is super nice. Someone left some water caches, right? A water cache, which is really great because I was carrying like four liters of water. I don't even need this, but it's nice for someone who might be running out. Oh, creepy, 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 yeah. cloud doesn't look great in the sky. Who knows what's gonna happen? The storm is hitting and it was not predicted and I'm not in a great place. It's just like so painful and just the worst day. This is pretty intense, pretty scary. But just another day on the AT. It's a wild world and no one seems to understand it. It's a wild world but there ain't no way I'm gonna quit it. Love is all I've got to give away. Love is all we've got to give away.